Hey folks, wanted to show you something here. So this is a little aquaponic system. Mostly I'm growing some uh, watercress in it, some celery and uh, some green onion and stuff like that. And there's also, just because there's a light here, there's several plants that are in pots that are not quite ready to be set out yet. And I just need a place for them, so they're sitting here. Um, but this is mostly used, I really don't grow a lot of food in it. It's mostly used as a classroom educational system. It's a simple ebb and flow bed. It's built with uh, some leak in it. This is a simple um, concrete mixing tray like you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. This is the smallest one they make. I believe it's like a seven gallon. It runs on a pump out of this 40 gallon breeder that's full of mostly mosquito fish. And it grows all kinds of algae and stuff because it's not really uh, maintained like an ornamental uh, tank but it's a cool little system it uses you can look at my other videos to see this it uses a pump with two um, bulkheads to allow no siphon to be necessary water's pumped in it overflows out that pipe and when the pump comes off the water ebbs back down but I wanted to show you something I've done with it I've stocked it with worms because there's really not you know there's some, a bunch of minnows in there but they don't really produce enough waste to make this system work. So I wanted to show you how you could essentially do something you would think of as like fishless aquaponics, or some of you that have indoor systems that have like a tropical tank, you just wanna be pretty and you don't wanna overstock it, but you wanna make enough biology to make your plants grow well. You take worms and you feed them. What I've done here, so that you'll be able to see how many worms are really in this system, because if I start digging here, they're just gonna run. They're gonna run and they're gonna hide and you're not gonna see them, right? Okay, but if I lay something like this down, throw a little bit of fish food on it, they'll come up, they'll eat, and they'll feel comfortable. So how many worms do you think live in this stuff? It doesn't look like what worms would live in, does it? What do you see this? <laughs> it, 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 trust me, that's not even impressive. Uh, it's middle of the day. They haven't been fed in a while. They're all up in this algae. They're eating not only the fish food that I give them, but all the microorganisms, etc., and hanging out there, and uh, I'm sure there's some under there. I wanted to see, though, is anybody hanging out? No, nobody's on the surface right now. I've actually, th oh, there we go, look it. They're crawling up into, <laughs> they're crawling up into this cup. It's got some compost in it. I bet you if I dump that out, there's plenty of them living in there. Uh, I just threw some fish food on top to see if they'd crawl up into that cup, and of course they have, which means they're moving in and out of these plants that I'm starting. So. You could even build a seed starting system that implemented some level of this because those worms are moving biology with them up and down, in and out of those pots. I just thought you would find that really, really interesting to see just how much. And these are mostly red wigglers, uh, but there are some earthworms in here too because I've thrown some as I found. But that's your red wiggler. And for a red wiggler, that is a monster, man. Look how fat that collar is. Uh, that worm's about to to cast off some eggs, and it's kind of cool to watch them just cruise down into uh, this leka, which is pretty soft. But I mean, they'll do it in anything. I've, I've thrown them into systems being run 100% with lava rock, and, and they go off in there. Anyway, I just thought you might uh, get a kick to see how many worms can live in a simple little ebb and flow bed. And again, that biology—if you look at the health of these plants, uh, there is no way that that celery would look like that off the waist of those little mosquito fish. That's just not enough.